perfect. Perfect. You know, one thing about fishing top water baits like this is, is tweaking your retrieve and fine tuning it based on what the fish are willing to bite on. And that sort of depends on the, you know, the attitude of the fish. Right now it's uh, relatively early in the morning. It's about nine o'clock in the morning. And uh, it still seems like the fish are pretty tentative where we have to let the bait sit there for a period of time to uh, get the fish to hit the bait. A lot of times when they're super active, I mean, you'll hit the, you know, you can fish the bait, you know, with real fast uh, ripping retrieve, and the fish will hit it. And sometimes, a lot of times, what you have to do with this bait is let it sit for a long period of time. Sometimes we just cast it out and don't even move the bait. Well, you know, when I pitch this bait out, it's got a long cast mechanism. I can make a real, real long cast. But when the bait is out on the end of the cast, a lot of times what I'm going to do is use, or is use an upward swing like this. And it rips and the bait goes subsurface and comes back up. Rip, then comes back up. But as the bait gets closer to the boat, a lot of times what I'm going to do, I get about halfway back, a lot of times I'll drop my rod tip close to the water to maintain that even sort of cadence, that rip subsurface, rip, then pause, rip and pause. Uh, largemouth bass fishermen actually fish this bait with a completely different retrieve. What you'll do is pitch it out and reel it in real, real slow. Just a straight retrieve, real, real slow with those blades going pop, 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 pop. There you go. Oh, get him. Got him. Got yeah. him. There you go. <laughs> that fish came up and he missed the bait and I, I literally just stopped the bait in its tracks and he came back and, and whacked it. Nice little nipper. There you go. And yeah, as, as James was saying, these fish do have a tendency to get really tuned in when they got multiple feeding options. Now here right now we got this bug hatch going on. But what that does is it brings minnows up toward the surface and a smallmouth bass, when given the option of eating a small you know, fly or a big minnow is going to choose a, a big minnow if you just look at the, the energy that they expend and the energy they take in. Now if you have confidence fishing baits like husky jerks, x wraps, surface baits like an original floater, that's what you're fishing with a prop bait like this. It's simply a minnow bait fished on the surface and there's nothing more appealing to fish that are hunting than a dying minnow.